Hey everyone, it's Jonathan, and I'm getting really bullish metals, specifically gold and silver. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple of reasons of why I think gold going higher, why I think silver is going higher. To start off, gold futures, I have you on a weekly, 100, 200 period moving average, just keeping things really simple. If you go back and look how gold has behaved against the 100, 200 in the past, up here got up to it up here once it went through bullish okay it definitely knows it right right now it's above both of them so definitely bullish gold maybe a stop under this 1255 1253 that's just one reason let me take you on a daily right now and let me get to the real reasons the important reasons of why i think gold and silver are going higher down here I put on a ratio, it's called the gold oil ratio. Now you can do this in Excel. It's just gold divided by oil. I just put it in ThinkScript, in Thinkorswim, and did a very basic indicator. As you can see, gold is very inexpensive relative to oil, right? Oil has been trading higher. It's at the highest that it's traded in the last year. Gold really hasn't moved. So if you go back the entire last year, it's at its low gold relative to oil. I think gold's gonna catch up. So if oil doesn't move, gold's gonna rally and catch up. The next reason, just like I did with gold oil, I also just did a gold silver ratio. Again, just gold divided by silver. Historically, the average of this indicator relationship is about 50 or 55. Right now, it's toward the top of its range. When the gold-silver ratio gets to be the top of its range, that's just saying that if you wanna be bullish, if you think the market's going higher, you're better off being long silver because silver is inexpensive relative to gold. Now, if you wanted to short one or the other, because the ratio is way up high at 76, you probably wanna sell gold rather than silver. But for the reasons that I mentioned before this, above that 100, 200 period on the moving average. Oil rallying, gold didn't follow, so gold very inexpensive to oil. But then, as I dig deeper, we find that silver inexpensive to gold. Three reasons why I think gold's going higher. So yes, I'm bullish gold, but I think an even better way to play it is by being long silver. I personally don't like to trade silver futures because it's a very, very expensive contract. But what I do like is a silver ETF. And this trade we've been in, I think I shared it with the membership maybe two weeks ago or three weeks ago. So as I take you through all those, I share silver trust. SLV, I like to be long, okay? It's trading at 1610 right now. You can see it's definitely consolidating, right? Let me take this thing off. My technicians out there, definitely, definitely consolidating. I think this breaks out big time to the upside. And I think it breaks down big, I think it breaks out big time to the upside because again, gold very inexpensive to oil. Now if oil comes crashing down to 50, to 48, to 46, everything changes. We reevaluate, but for right now, as long as that oil staying nice and strong, I think that gold and silver are both going to catch up and rally. But I think the best bang for our buck is not to get long gold, but to get long silver because that gold silver ratio is trading darn close to 80. Okay, hope that helps, guys. Jonathan Rose, Active Day Trader.